Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the implementation of processes. And in this video we're going to talk specifically about context switching. So what is context switching? So context switching is basically the switching of the CPU from one process to another process. Let's say there's a process that is being executed. So in context switching, when an interrupt occurs, the CPU is assigned to the process that caused the interrupt. And once the process is completed, the CPU is reassigned back to the previous process. So let me give you an example. Let's say there are two processes, process A and process B. Initially, they are in the ready queue. Now, let's say that CPU gets assigned to process A and the process A starts executing, right? You can see that it's executing here. Let's say the process B causes an interrupt. So interrupt occurs over here and basically process B wants to execute. So what's going to happen is that process A is going to be suspended at that point. And the information about the process A, which is the context of process A, is going to be saved inside of PCB, which, which is process control block. So that information is saved so that it can be reloaded at the time of the process resumption. So that it can be reloaded at the time of resuming the process A. Then we reload the register, the process B starts executing. Once it finishes executing, again, we save the information of the context of the process B in the register. We reload the context of the process A uh, because we had saved that information earlier in the PCB. And once it's reloaded, we know where it needs to be executed from. So it needs to be resumed from and it starts executing again. So that's basically the context switching, which means in simple words, uh, one, while one process is executing, an interrupt occurs, uh, the CPU is switched from one process to another. Okay, And in the meanwhile, uh, we also save the context of the processes so that uh, we can resume them when we want to, after the process B has finished executing. So I hope that is clear to you.